everyone. This is Miss Carmen, Children's Services Coordinator at the Fluorine Public Library, and I want to welcome you to Online Storytime. Thank you for watching our videos. We release them on Wednesdays and they stay posted for a long time so that you guys can enjoy them. Parents, please stay with your little ones. The program is intended for kids between two and five, but they make the most out of it when you are around. Very good. Let's get started with our welcome song, The More We Get Together. Ready? All right. Let's practice our songs. More, together, happy, friends. Very good. Are we ready? Awesome. The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good. I hear that. You want to do it again, huh? Let's do it. Okay, ready? The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good. Is it getting cold around your neighborhood? It is getting a little cold around mine. Afternoon with Santa will be aired. Will be, it's an online event and Santa will make a virtual appearance on our YouTube channel on December the 13th. All right, guys, let's do a flannel story. This is Pepe the polar bear. And he lives actually near where the cold waters flow. But let's work on our flannel story now, right? Pepe the polar bear, this is him, as white as the snow, sat near the ice where the cold waters flow. Lunch, he said. I'll make a wish. So he dug his hand under the water and he pulled a fish. What color is it? Did you say orange? That is right. Very good. So Pepe, the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat near the ice where the waters flow. Lunch, he said, I'm going to make a wish. So he put his hand under the water and he got another fish. What color is this one? Yes, it is purple. Very good. Here we go. Pepe, the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near where the cold water flows. Lunch, he said. I'm going to make a wish. So he put his hand again in the water and he pulled a blue fish. How many does he have now? How many little fishes does he have now? One, two, three. Can you guys count them in Espanol? Okay, uno, dos, Tres. Very good. Pepe, the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near where the cold water flows. Lunch, he said. I'm going to make a wish. So he put his arm under the water and he got another fish. This one in time, it was a red one. How many fish? Fishies does he have now? He has in Espanol. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Very good. Now, Pepe, the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice 
near where the cold water flows. Lunch, he said. I'm gonna make a wish. He pulled his hand and put it under the water and he got a green fish this time. Yay! I hope that was enough for his lunch. What do you guys think? Awesome. Can we say what colors the fishes are? Come on, grown-ups, help your little ones if they don't know all the colors. This is orange, naranja in Espanol, purple, morado in Espanol, blue, azul in Espanol, red, rojo in Espanol, and green, verde in Espanol. Very good. Okay, guys, let's count some snowflakes. Copos de nieve. Listos? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ahora en español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Very good. Can you put your hand up and count your fingers? One, two, Three, four, five. Ahora en español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Good job. So, one little snowflake with nothing to do. Along came another one, and then there were two. One, two. Two little snowflakes laughing at me. <laughs> Along came another one, and then there were three. One, two, three. Three little snowflakes looking for some more. Along came another one, and then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little snowflakes dancing a jive. Along came another one, and then there were Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little snowflakes having so much fun. But out came the sun, and then there were none. What happened to the snowflakes? Did you say they melted just like ice? Yes. Heat, the sun, Provides heat and melted the snowflakes. Time for a book. Yes, today we will be enjoying Chaucer's First Winter by Stephen Krensky and illustrated by Henry Cole. And we are very grateful to Simon and Schubert Books for Young Readers for allowing us to read it to you today. Chaucer's First Winter. Written by Stephen Kransky and illustrated by Henry Cole. Chaucer was a curious young bear. He poked and prodded wherever he pleased, on the rocks, and even in high trees. So look, you guys, he was so curious that he lifted this little rock and he found an ant. Chaucer's best friends were Nugget and Kit. They were a little older than he was. This winter, said Nugget, we're gonna miss you a lot. Really, said Chaucer. Where will I be while you're missing me? Sleeping, said Kit. That's what bears do. Chaucer's parents admitted that these news were true. Bears do like to snooze, his father observed. It's very restful, his mother added, which is good for growing bears. Chaucer was not convinced. Pretty soon, it was time for bear's winter nap. Chaucer's parents closed their eyes and began softly snoring. 
Chaucer was still wide awake. So he stood up and then he went back outside. So yes, bears and other animals take long naps during the winter. And you know what those naps are called? Hibernation. Yes, bears hibernate. Can you say that word? Ask your adult to help you and use this big word, hibernate. White flakes were tumbling through the air. Chaucer cut one on his nose and two on his tongue. They were wet to the touch and then melted away. It's magic, he said. His friends were very surprised to see him. Why aren't you sleeping, said Nugget. I was curious, said Chaucer. I wanted to see what winter was all about. Kit nodded. Well, first we must teach you what to know about snow. And Chaucer was ready. Chaucer saw the snow made everything look different. It's like the land is wearing a disguise, he thought. He paused uncertainly at the top of the familiar hill. How do we get to the bottom, he asked. You'll see, said Kit. And they had themselves a wild ride. Over a few days, Chaucer learned about snowball fights. Snowball fights are amazing. They are a lot of fun. But at home, you can pretend that you have a snowball. Just crunch some paper, make a big pile of papers that you are recyclable or whatever, and toss them around with your friends or your family. After a month, the pond froze over. Careful, said Nugget, as they stepped out. Kit nodded. You have to get used to it. Chaucer's pose felt funny on the ice. Oh no! He was much better at sliding than gliding! Chaucer loved everything about the winter. The glittering rows of icicles, the pine trees dressed in white. He even enjoyed the cold winter nights. But one gray morning, Chaucer, Nugget and Kit were out exploring. It started to snow and it started to blow. <sighs> Chaucer sniffed the air deeply and he began making giant snowballs. This is not a good time to play, said Kit. But Chaucer knew what he was doing. Look, he built him a safe place to watch the storm pass. The storms grew farther after that one. The sun got stronger and the days seemed longer. There is a change coming, said Nugget. Kit took a deep breath. I can almost smell the flowers. But Chaucer was sorry to see the winter go. Chaucer headed back to his family's cave. When he got there, his parents seemed to be just waking up. Wait until I tell you all about winter, he said. There is so much to do. Really, asked his mother. Who would have guessed? His father added. Chaucer wanted to tell them all about the snow and the ice and sledding down the hill. Well, he really did. So what is gonna happen after the snow melts and all the, what happens? What season comes? Do you know seasons? Did you say spring? Yes, the spring will happen right after the winter. But the rest of his story was going to have to wait. He's hibernating now. The end. 
we're gonna sing a song now. We're gonna do two actions. We're gonna do clapping, and after that, we're gonna do stomping. The song is gonna sound very familiar to one you already know, so you'll be able to join me by the second verse, okay? Ready? Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping and spread winter cheer. Stomping now. Let's all do a little stomping. Let's all do a little stomping. Let's all do a little stomping and spread winter cheer. Very good. You can use other actions like stretching or yawning or even shaking and try that song with your little ones. So after reading about snowflakes and snow, we're gonna make one. Yes, in your packets, we had a little bag with the snowflake parts and some tissue paper for the kids to tear. If you were not able to get a packet, you can make a snowflake out of a cereal box, out of anything. Just be creative and use any kind of white paper, copy paper or whatever for the kids to tear and glue it to the snowflake. But if you're following us, this is what we're gonna do. This is what your final project will look like. There is a small picture to help adults put it together. And once it's put together, just tear the paper. I mean, you can staple or glue it together. And when it is, once it is, just tear the little strips of paper and glue them there. To do these ones, you can use your finger and just glue it there. All right, boys and girls, let's pretend our hands are snowflakes. Can you pretend they are floating? Yay! And we're gonna sing a song that goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, okay? Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground, down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. All right, guys, I have two books to tell you about. And if you can, you can put these books on reserve and check them out to read them over the holidays. This is Pablo in the Snow by Terry Sloat, and this is Click Clack Ho 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 by Doreen Crying. What is soft, fluffy, and white? Pablo's wool, of course. But this little lamb soon discovers that there is something else as well, snow. From making trails to sledding with friends, having a snowball fight, and crafting snowmen. There is tons of fun to be had in the snow. Read the book to find some more about it. And click, clack, ho, ho, ho. Santa comes to the barnyard in this holiday addition to the award-winning Click Clack series and the inspiration for a new holiday special, Click Clack Moo, Christmas on the Farm. It's the night before Christmas and all through the farm, not a creature is stirring, not even a duck. I hope you check him out. Okay guys, I hope this was a fun story time for you. I wanna thank Jesse Davis from our communications team. He's the one who puts the video together. And with that, we can sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.